Hi there, welcome back to ADSR Machine Tutorials. Going to do a tutorial today looking at the link groups and choke groups inside machine, how to set them up. So link groups first, this is a way of linking our pads or linking our sounds in here within a group and just using one sound as the master and the others as the slave and then they get linked together. So an example of this would be to create a stacked synth sound in machine. So let's load up a bass sound for now for starters so look at our bass sounds this advoca here quite a dirty bass sound I think we're right we want to layer that bass sound with a lead sound and maybe another sound as well so let's go to sound two let's load up a lead now synth lead maybe something a little bit dirtier than that quite nice probably going to match that bass sound quite nicely and then let's load up an arpeggiator sound in the sound free or the third pad slot in here uh, so let's look at arpeggiated sounds now think about something to match the other two sounds we've got in there so something a bit kind of dirty kind of plenty of flavor <laughs> It's quite cool. So what we want to do is, if we wanted to create a little riff with these three sounds we've got going on, rather than programming three individual MIDI patterns going on, we want those sounds to sound together and become as one, a really thick kind of wall of synth, effectively. Play all three of them together. We're going to go into the red a little bit here, so let's turn on down the master volume. So what we want to do is link all these sounds together and we can do this um, obviously from the hardware but also from the software check on this this kind of pattern box here where you've got the sort of icon of the 16 pads check on that and then we've got this link here and we can create a link group in here and we can either set it to well there's, there's a possibility to send it to eight link groups and also the option to have it as a master or a slave so if we have sound one as the master and we create the other two as slaves, it basically means whenever we play sound one, all three of the sounds are going to play together, but then sound two and sound three, because they're slaves, we can play them individually as well. So sound one, link group one and the master, sound two, link group one, I make this a slave, sound three, link group one and make this a slave also. So now if I hit pad one, playing all three of those sounds, if I hit pad two, just pad sound two playing, or pad three, just that arpeggiated sound. But now what we can do with our link group set up and those three sounds assigned to effectively one pad really, we can go to our keyboard mode, I could create a little riff going on there, just stacking up those sounds, just messing around on the keyboard, just feeling out what's right. Uh, and it's not just the individual sound, it's not just the bass sound on its own, it's our stacked sound. Which is a pretty cool way of just building up synth sounds and just experimenting with different riffs and stuff like that. So it's also a good technique for this, is maybe if you wanted to layer up some clap sounds or some snare sound with some drum sounds and start layering some sounds without having to program all the MIDI and stuff. So, I'll show you how to do that quickly. In sound one, let's load a drum sound up now then. Say, say a clap. Sound two, maybe a cymbal. 
Uh, maybe let's put a snare in there as well. Okay, so three sounds there. Want to layer them together. Again, just go in sound one slot. Link group one, make this the master. And the other two, the slaves. And it's all linked now to pad one or sound one. So a great way for layering drum sounds or layering synth sounds or bass sounds or something, just stacking them up using the link groups in there. When we go to this icon here, we also have choke groups. So let's have a look at that as well. Let's create a new project now. And let's go ahead and load up a kit in here. And I don't really want the pattern really. So in this kit, I've got kick and snare and stuff, closed hat and an open hat. And the idea with choke groups or the one of the most common uses for choke groups is, is to cut other sounds off. So it's basically if you've got stuff assigned to a choke group, you've got a master and a slave, the master is going to cut the slaves off. So it's a great way for programming open and closed hats because the closed hats will chop off the open hats. So you're kind of mimicking sort of normal behavior of a drummer where they wouldn't be playing two hi-hat sounds at the same time. So an example of this, let's just program some sounds in quickly. And okay, so we've got our basic beat there, and what we want to do is we want the hi hats, the open hats there. If I mute the kick and snare. That open hat's got a little bit of decay, which is fine in say that slot there but when they've got a closed hat just after it we want it to chop it off so we go into this this is our closed hat here choke group choke group one make this the master this open hat here choke group one make this the slave now let's have a listen to what that's done to the sound you can hear that open hat kind of closing there I take it out of the choke group, you can hear that decay and back in the choke group and it's kind of chopping it off. So a really cool thing to have set up on some of your hi-hats and some of your drum sounds just to give them that nice kind of snappy sort of realistic flavour. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Any questions, get in touch and make sure you get yourself over to the website machineskills.com. Tons more tutorials on there our Native Instruments machine, and thanks for watching. All right, cheers, bye.